right, let's look at the work energy theorem for a net force and pay attention to the word net. Let's suppose we have a system A and it has energy and it is able to do work then. And let's suppose that it does this work on system B. This means that system B will gain energy. Let's pretend that we have some real numbers here. Suppose there was five joules of work done. Well, that would mean that system A lost five joules of energy and system B gained the five joules of energy. Let's look at an example here. Suppose I have an accelerating force, an unbalanced force. There's no friction. There's a mass m. I'm going to move it through a distance d. I want to find out how much work is done. Work is force times distance. The force, ma. The distance when something starts from rest and is accelerating is 1 half at squared. Now acceleration we know is vf minus vi over t, but let's let this start from rest. vi is 0, therefore a equals v over t. And that will represent our final velocity, which is what we want to find. We'll put that in for a. So a becomes v over t. Now notice that the t's cancel. And so we get rid of the t's, and we have these v's there. We rearrange the equation, and we end up with 1 half mv squared. So what this means is the work done is half mv squared. The system lost half mv squared, and system b gained 1 half mv squared. Now I would suggest you hit pause and just go over that. This is called the work energy theorem for a net force. And we can write Fd equals the change in kinetic energy. And of course, we started from initial velocity of 0. Fd equals 1 half mv squared. But this is general. And it doesn't matter if we start from rest. So here is an initial velocity. Let's pretend we, we are not starting from rest. Watch what happens now. I can say work equals force times distance. Now, I look at the vi and the vf, and I know that I have a kinematics formula that says vf squared equals vi squared plus 2ad. I will rearrange this formula for d, and then I will put that into the work is equal to force times distance. And you see, I will put what uh, v squared minus vi squared over uh, 2a, I will put that in for d. Now you can try this on your own, but watch what happens. Work now is the force is ma times uh, d, which is vf squared minus vi squared over 2a. Now if I simplify this equation, I will have work in terms of the kinetic energy. The a is cancel, and what I end up with in this formula is 1 half mvf squared minus 1 half <laughs> mvi squared, which is the change in kinetic energy. Thus we have a generic formula now that says the work done by an accelerating force, a net force, is equal to uh, 1 half mvf squared minus 1 half mvi squared, or uh, the change in kinetic energy. So we have now the work energy theorem for a net force. And we know the work is the change in kinetic energy. If it starts from rest, it's 1 half mv squared. And for the general formula, half mvf squared minus vi squared.